All right, guys, it's that moment of every job. We're basically finished. I can't be more proud of the team back over there. Excited about the outcome of it. It truly is amazing. We have 150 tons of stone, another 20 tons of gravel. We have like 100 aqua blocks in here. 100, 3,000, 3,000 gallon reservoir. We have three five to nine pumps, one 12 PN, and we have eight rolls of three inch pipe. <laughs> Bib liners, and we used a 25 by 50 foot roll at the end there. We used a 20 by 100 for a big section of the stream. We had a 30 by 50 for down here. So a couple thousand square feet yeah, of liners. Yeah, like a load of liners. <laughs> <laughs> <that explodes. laughs> Just a lot of material. All of that put together and seven work working days. That's pretty amazing. We're working on the upper pool up here. You can see Mark kind of finishing up some edges. We'll probably just get soil back in through there. We're gonna kind of beach this section out. You can see AJ's already kind of decorated the bottom here with some gravel. And I'm gonna start working on some bib liners over in here. And so we've got an enormous amount of water coming through this area right in here. It's all gonna fall over that lip. And then just to bleed off some of that water, we're gonna have another little waterfall come around this big frame rock over here. As water came over this rock, you can see this bed of gravel right here all of that water would just penetrate down through that gravel so my next step here is to cut a piece of fabric and or underlayment to fit this area then I'll put foam underneath it all creating a bib liner so when the water drops it hits that solid membrane and then hits that <laughs> hits that solid membrane and then we'll get all that water just kind of coming through here all right next step bib liner all right we got the bib liner in there everything's cut around it next thing i'm going to do is try to find some rocks to kind of block this area off, block that area off and get everything to channel right through here this bottle of water is actually here because if i spray this down a little bit the foam cures do it so much better so i'll pull this back spray it down foam it and then put the fabric back all right, now we just take this, we got all this foamed over the top of the gravel, and we just take this fabric back, roll it over the top. And what's nice about the fabric is that foam like really, really bonds to the fabric, so this will never, ever come up. If you've ever worked with foam before, you know how if you get it on your clothes, it's basically there forever. The fabric's the same thing. Awesome. Now I'm just gonna drop in a couple chunks of stone to block off some areas, and then we'll button all this up and get it water running over by the end of the day. It is the beginning of day three in our Utah project and I can't be more happy. The last couple days we really just came together and having talented people like that guy, <laughs> those guys up there, we can make quick work of a giant project. I mean, we were just saying 150 some tons of stone yeah, throughout I, the whole thing. I, I'm blown away. This is only two days worth of work. You guys did a lot the initial week, but coming in on Monday, today's Wednesday morning, and starting pretty much at the large waterfall, working our way up, all the rock we put in, all the excavating we did, all the liners that went in, there was some seaming that happened, plumbing went in, a ton of work in two days time. A ton, a ton of work. And it looks just amazing. We actually fired it up last night. It was kind of cool. And this is, you just tell that we still enjoy this because even though it's 6.30 at night, we're like, we're sitting over there. Let's put the pumps on. <laughs> <laughs> Which added another half an hour going to get extension cords and everything else. And then we and, sat here and looked at it for a while. Yeah. <laughs> but it gave us a chance to actually, so doing that, we were able to run it last night. We checked the water level in the reservoir. We're good there. So no leaks. You're right. <laughs> no leaks. A bunch of areas we can tweak just to take it that extra 10%. Yeah. So we're going to come through, put in a couple more bib liners, refoam this. And that's what's important too like when you're doing these big boulder projects there's always going to be that tweaking because you want water to move a certain way mm -hmm. over a two-ton rock you know well and you got 20,000 gallons of water uh -huh. coming over that the helps. bottom waterfall over mm -hmm. here and so as much experience as we have doing this we still like what i still get excited about is plugging that in and seeing what the water does and did it do what you wanted it to do did yeah. it do something different well you're imagining like i'm gonna get this much water at the top because that's a far push mm -hmm. these pumps and uh you're always nervous like did i not put a big enough pump on it especially with something like this but here running it last night i feel like that it's the right pump selection so we put it was funny because we put the one five to nine on and both of us are looking at that water 
water just kind of like, oh, no. like, oh no. <laughs> Get some more pumps. Yeah. Get on the phone. <laughs> but by the time we got, you know, there's four pumps on here. So we have three five to nines. And at that 15 foot grade change elevation, we're pushing just under 6,000 gallons of water yeah. by the time it discharges up on the top. So at the top, we've got somewhere around 15 to 18,000 gallons of water coming over that top waterfall. Then we have, it meets up with that 12 PN down here, gives us another 8,000 gallons. Yeah, it's, and so, when it's rolling, it's really, I mean, I love the way that bottom waterfall looks when it's when it's fully going. You guys gotta stick around because it's worth the payoff. This is gonna be an awesome, awesome water feature. So much fun out here. It makes quick work of these things when you know you have a team and everybody knows their place on the team. So it just makes it fun, enjoyable. It lets you get through the dust, the weather, and everything else that Utah has to offer, but uh, still a pretty amazing place. We're just about done. The guys are finishing up at the last little pool up at the top. Everything's finished down in here. AJ's finishing just doing uh, the dry stream bed overflow over in here, kind of finishing off that edging. Uh, we've got some grading to do in here, just kind of clean it up. We're definitely fighting several storms. It's kind of crazy because I can't remember the last time we did a, a job out of town and the weather was perfect, but for some reason, karma's on our side and uh, the rain just keeps moving all the way around us. If you look off in the distance there, you can see rain all, all over in there. There's rain up and over there there's rain over there and it just finished raining back over oh, it's actually you'll kind of see it raining back over in the distance there we're kind of in this bowl surrounded by mountains all the way around us and for whatever reason yesterday and today the rain is just going around us letting us finish an entire day early let's run upstairs i keep calling it upstairs because it feels like i'm running up it's really like let's run up to the third floor because i'm running up it seems to be like 30 feet tall you can see we've got one pump on, just letting this thing circulate over here. We've got all of this buttoned up over and through here. Got to trim away a little bit of foam. If you look really close, I actually have a pipe coming out of there. So that pipe's gonna come out of there. That'll allow water to move through this, through this crack, and then up and over that fall. Hopefully getting this rock wet and then letting water come this way. Redid all of this. Some little stones in there. Even this little piece of stone right here, as that water comes down, it hits it, diverting the water to come out more this way and really just kind of adding a little bit more character. So it'll be fun to see how that all works. And the rest of our team is up here finishing this pool. And so we came up here yesterday and we liked that pool so much but we all said, I gosh, I wish it was deeper. So this pool, we made about three feet deep. So it's just a big, deep, I don't know, wading pool. It'll be awesome to kind of sit down there, cool off. You can see Alan, Robert, Kyle, just finishing the edge work back up in there. Jack decided to build one more little waterfall because he could. <laughs> so we're just about done. Scrape this in. I think we're done. It looks like we need the other machine over here. Uh, we gotta set that rock there and then all right. pull this pipe in. So that pipe is gonna feed that waterfall over there, I think. And then we'll be turning this on, I'm guessing one more hour. Right, guys it's that moment of every job we're basically finished I know I'm basically isn't even the word we are hundred percent done on our part there's obviously a ton of other stuff that still needs to be done landscaping and patios and stone stairs and the house and so on and so on but I can't be more proud of the team back over there excited about the outcome of it it truly is amazing we have 150 tons of stone another 20 tons of gravel you have like a hundred aqua blocks in here hundred three 3,000 3, gallon reservoir. We have three five to nine pumps, one 12 PN, we had 800, no, we had four rolls, no, we had eight rolls, eight rolls of three inch pipe, <laughs> bib liners, and we used a 25 by 50 foot roll at the end there. We used a 20 by 100 for a big section of the stream. We had a 30 by 50 for down here. So a couple thousand square feet yeah, of liner. Yeah, like a load of liners. <laughs> <laughs> Loads. <laughs> Just a lot of material. All of that put together and seven work working days. That's pretty amazing. Like 90 feet long, <laughs> like 20 feet high. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. 
90 feet long, 20 feet high. I mean, the statistics can go on forever. It was awesome to have Mark and AJ out here, some local guys to help Robert do CAC out here helping. It's always great to turn over a project to them. Knowing that they'll be able to maintain it, they're obviously gonna have to do a, probably a rinse down before the home is open again. Yeah. But can't wait to come back. What do you guys think? Come back in August oh, for the reveal? Yeah, I have to see this all done. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Hopefully, hopefully they nail the landscaping. That's This needs that really, really badly. And uh, that's always the nervous part, right? We're at the end. And what we did, we think looks really great. It's bringing all the plants in and making it look like it's, it's a natural feature and that's been here forever. That's so crucial to the, the finish of the job. And you're relying on somebody else to kind of share that vision with you. We had a discussion with the landscaper and hopefully they carry it out close to what we were yeah. thinking. Alan and I got a chance to ride some side-by-sides together and our favorite part was the- The aspen groves. Right, the yeah. aspen groves. And I could definitely see that up here on the left side or something. Yeah, so just a, cool. a bunch of trees to help scale this yeah. thing down, make it feel a whole lot more intimate. I love the idea of a fire pit kind of area over in here, yep. stone stairs leading to like that intimate spot, a bunch of heights with trees and stuff up around it would just look incredible. Well, I think what I'm gonna do is do one quick but dry I, run. I don't, I don't think they get a feel for exactly how big this thing is. Like, Run up to the top. Okay, hold on. Let me take my sandals off. <laughs> He's still ready. Oh, no, ready? <laughs> He's only halfway there. <laughs> all the way up there. Right, just come down, like, all right, enough jibber jabber, let's plug this thing in. Oh my God. <laughs> There's your workout every morning. Jesus. Well, hey guys, you want help? Oh, I can't even breathe. <laughs> no, let's plug this baby in, right? Enough waiting, let's see what this thing looks like. was that bib liner area that we talked about. It had all that gravel, we cut out that fabric to fit right in there. We've got this all foamed up. We've got our waterfalls starting. You can see the 112 PN is feeding this pool. It's about to start coming over. And then we have the three five to nines coming together to feed this. Of course, we took it further than we were supposed to. We were supposed to kind of stop in this area and we came all the way up into here just because we had the time and the rocks to do it. But this is an awesome little area. We got a small little fall here. It went off guys, it shut off. So we have a great little upper pool. It's about three, three and a half feet deep in this area with these great rocks to kind of sit on, just cool off before everything comes down and comes together through here. This was another great area. We've got this little pipe right here. You can see the water coming out through there. It's grabbing water from back behind these rocks and through here. And the whole reason I did that is I really wanted to see another little waterfall here. So you can see it coming through there. It comes through this, it's filling up this pool. And as that water starts getting a little bit more momentum, we'll get a nice little waterfall off to the side of our big fall. Still building pressure. See this is gaining more and more momentum. This is always my favorite part to see how the waterfalls are coming together and as this builds more and more momentum as the water level gets higher and higher here from the pressure of the pumps then obviously that water starts fanning out that much more we really start gaining momentum a lot of it's going to come off of this aggressively hit this and then come back on the side this will obviously get more pronounced right now they just have two pumps on up at the top All right, you can see the water starting to come over through here. The bib liner is obviously working because that water is pooling up nice. Great how that water is coming all the way out and watch it's because it keeps stretching a little further, a little further, and then because of the little flare up on this rock, that'll hold that water from going any further that way. Great place for birds and stuff to kind of hang out. This is probably the smallest waterfall in here, but one of my favorite, the way it just kind of cuts around this big rock here, comes around, travels down through here. I love the way it rolls over this rock before it hits this fall here. And then this fall was that one we choked way, way down.
And then there's our big sheet fall. There's the little secret fall off on the side there. Just incredible. And I'm obviously loving my work because I'm just walking right through it all. I've already got neighbors standing out here looking at it in total awe. Well, that's a wrap, guys. I really enjoy doing these out-of-state projects. So much fun. It's always like a family reunion when we get together with past CACs. Jack, Alan, Mark, Kyle, everybody that contributed to this makes this thing happen. So much fun. Just absolutely love it. Hopefully you guys loved every part of this as much as we did. Look forward to doing it again. You know the routine, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, share, do all that stuff, and then we'll keep doing this for you. Till next time, have a great day. Bye.